Welcome to Traveler's Tales. I am your host, Greg Alonso. Today I will be your guide through history as we take a look at part two of Zenobia, the queen who dared to defy Rome. Before we begin, just a quick reminder that we post new videos every Tuesday and Friday with special editions on Wednesday. Don't forget to hit the little bell icon to be notified each time we post new videos. Moving right along. Mythology tells us one thing, while archaeology tells us another. Our first question of the day is from Florencia. She wants to know, why is Queen Zenobia so important? Florencia, good question. She is important because she dared to capture Egypt and several Roman provinces. This created an eastern empire for her that could rival Rome. Our next question is from Barney. He asks, why did Zenobia decide to expand her realm? Barney, the Roman Empire was undergoing an imperial crisis and internal conflicts prevented the empire from maintaining control far beyond the borders of Rome. Believing the center of Rome crumbling, Zenobia turned her focus on expanding her own empire. Moving right along, now we have a question from Jan. She asks, why did Zenobia invade Egypt? Jan, the invasion of Egypt has been viewed by some as Zenobia's desire to secure an alternative trade route to the Euphrates River. This was because of the war with the Sassanian Empire. However, I would add that the Euphrates route would only partially be disrupted. Now we have a question from Avril. She wants to know if Odetheus was an Arab. Avril, most likely. What we do know for sure is Odetheus was born into an aristocratic Palmyrene family. In 190 of the Common Era, he received Roman citizenship due to his loyal service to Rome on the battlefield. Odantheus observed all due formalities to the emperor, yet in practice he ruled as an independent monarch. This question is from Marcy. She wants to know what was the language of Palmyra and was Zenobia related to Egypt's Queen Cleopatra? Marcy, the native language of Palmyra was Aramaic. As for her relation to Cleopatra, Zenobia was of Semitic descent. It was she who claimed that Cleopatra VII of Egypt was an ancestor. However, I would add that nothing has been proven to substantiate this claim. I for one believe that there may have been confusion with Cleopatra Thea, a ruler from the Seleucid Empire. Let's press on. We now have a question from Yvette. She wants to know, what happened to Queen Zenobia? Yvette, there are many tales about the fate of the queen. It is most commonly accepted that she was taken back to Rome in chains and displayed in Aurelian's triumph and then beheaded. Our next question is from Toby. He asks, why was Aurelian assassinated? Toby, while marching to open a campaign against Persia, Aurelian was murdered by a group of officers who had allegedly been misled by his secretary into believing themselves marked for execution. We still have time for a couple more questions. This one is from Earl. He wants to know what happened to the sons of Odantheus. Herodianus and the eldest son and heir was assassinated along with his father in 267 of the Common Era while returning to Palmyra from a campaign. With regard to his younger son, Vabalathus, it was generally believed that Aurelian displayed him in his triumph and he was later beheaded. Now we have a question from Giovanni. He asks, if it is correct that Zenobia was Odanthus' second wife. Yes, Giovanni, you are quite correct. Zenobia was neither the mother of either of the two sons who were heirs of parent to the king. Our last question for the day is from Kathleen. She asks, what happened to the city of Palmyra? Kathleen, the fate of Palmyra took a turn for the worse. A second revolt was launched by Septimus Apsaios, purported to be a relative of Queen Zenobia. Aurelian marched to Palmyra and razed the city. Buildings were smashed and the population was clubbed and massacred and the temples pillaged. The Romans reduced the city and it disappeared from the historical records of that time, thus ending the ascendancy of Palmyra over Roman Asia Minor. This brings us to the end of part two of Zenobia, the queen who dared to defy Rome. Thank you for joining us for this edition of Traveler's Tales. Just a reminder that we post new videos every Tuesday and Friday. Don't forget to hit the little bell icon to be notified each time we post new videos. For your convenience, we have also posted our email address and Instagram information. 
We enjoy hearing from our subscribers and encourage you to contact us with any questions or comments you may have. If you haven't subscribed to Traveler's Tales, please do. This really is the best way to help our channel grow. Traveler's Tales will return with Warrior Elites, the Sacred Band of Thebes. Until we meet again at the crossroads of folklore and fact, Cartistos.